What's going on, everybody? Prodigy here, back again with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Today I'm going to be playing Batlin Boxer with a meme in it. I'm going to be playing it with Last Counter, yes. I love this card because it's so freaking over-complicatedly written. Like, look at this. L look at this right now. It says here, When an attack is declared involving a Batlin Boxer monster you control and an opponent's monster, negate the attack. And if you do, send that monster you control to the grave, then one Batlin Boxer monster you control in attack position if you declared the attack, parenthetically, gains attack points equal to the original attack of that opponent's monster. Also, proceed to damage calculation using those monsters. Then, you take damage equal to the amount of attack points gained from this effect. So, yeah, uh, basically what that says is that whenever I'm getting attacked by a Battling Boxer, I get to send it to the grave to have another Boxer take on that attack and gain attack points equal to that boy, and then I take damage equal to what he gained. And that is just an anime moment waiting to happen. I think there actually was a moment in the anime where Alito used this and actually died. But <laughs> that aside, that aside, I'm going to be using a Batlin Boxer deck with this card inside it. I'm going to be hoping to meme on at least one person with it today. It's not that good, but hey, I'm trying to have fun over here. I'm hoping to put on a good show for you all. I hope you all enjoy it. Now let's find my first opponent. All right, let's see who we got here. We got Yaku. He has a, uh, like that galaxy dragon monster as his icon. That's pretty cool, you know? But I'm going, uh, I lost the coin toss, so okay, I'm still going first. <laughs> Don't you just love it when your opponent just lets you get all the advantage that you need at the start of the match? <laughs> like, you don't even need to lose it. Oh, wow. And as we can see here, I've already drawn my mighty last counter counter trap. But yes, like I was saying, who needs friends when you have enemies like this that let you get all the advantage? They just let you get your turn one? Like, why would you even do that? That is so not a good move. But while he's doing that, I am going to be starting my combo. With my one-card starter promoter, I'm going to bring out my two favorite new Batman Boxer men, Uppercutter and Chief Second. I <laughs> I kind of summoned them backwards. I put <laughs> Uppercutter in defense and I put Chief in, uh... uh <laughs> Attack. That's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Flame Bell Counter Trap with my Uppercutter's ability, because he's conveniently. Uh, conveniently helps me trigger it. Uh, sorry. Should not have drank in the doc. Should not have drank a doctor before I did this. But I'm going to use my nor my uh, second. <laughs> I'm freaking stuttering over here. I'm gonna use my no my second normal summon to bring out uppercutters. I'm then going to overlay my two Batlin Boxer monsters to create the King Dempsey himself. Dempsey's effect, of course, adds me a card. I'm gonna go ahead and get cross counter to my hand. There we go. Then, I detach my Chief Second from my Dempsey with a second effect, just for the sake of putting more boxes in the graveyard, and I'm going to set down these three counter traps and end my turn. You know, I'm glad that... <laughs> I'm glad this guy can't hear me because he just, he would know that I have three counter traps face down. But luckily, he can hear me. I'm just in here, in my room, talking to myself like the crazy person I am. And, uh, I'm happy with that. And this guy apparently has a bad connection. Uh, well, just, despite his bad connection, I get to use my Dempsey's effect during 
his draw phase, and I'm, I'm getting really nervous with that uh, bad signal connection over there. I don't want this duel to take forever because this guy's playing at a McDonald's on his uh, mom's Google Pixel phone or whatever that phone is called. Uh, but my uppercutter's effect is going to allow me to special summon back my promoter. Yeah, that's right. Look at my field. It has two glossy boys in uppercutter and Dempsey and the one prismatic royal finish boy. So I'd like to see him try and trample this absolute mighty defense. I mean, I have I have two monsters that are stronger than I have three monsters that are stronger than Beaver Warrior. What is this? Da de, de, what the heck is this thing? If this card is in your hand, you can discard one other card and well. Since that thing is still in your hand, I'm just gonna break its jaw with my cross counter. By destroying my Dempsey, I get to negate and destroy that card. And then, as a bonus, I can bring out number 79, Battling Boxer Nova Kaiser. He's shook, he's scared to death, he's scared to look at his fing yearbook, Grand Brook. That was a good movie. I'll see that movie. That was, uh, that was 8 Mile. That was, that was a pretty good one. Yeah, to death. Oh, <laughs> this guy's not a gangster. His real name's Clarence, and Clarence's parents have a real good marriage because they bought him Key Sickill or whatever that card is over there. Live Twins. He's playing Live Twins. He's on that. Um, he's on that Link Summoning Bull Spit. Look, look at that spit. He's got one card starters. These these one card starters are mine. You can't do that. That's illegal. Oh, what is this? Another thing that's illegal? Ah, Live Twin Sunny Snitch. That little trick should stop snitching, because the old saying goes, snitches get stitches, and I can use my flame bell counter trap to negate and destroy that card. No searching for you. <laughs> He's like, damn it. He's like, how am I supposed to do this? He set three counter traps and I just can't, I mean, he set two counter traps that I just can't even play over, and now I just have to surrender. Is he gonna surrender? I actually don't know. <laughs> I mean, I keep seeing his uh, Wi-Fi over there, like he's on dial-up. And um, oh, Link Summon. Okay. Let's see what he breaks out: the red one or the blue one. What's it gonna be? He made the red one. Sweet. You know, a lot of people call this one the pink one, and I, I guess I'm bad with colors because it looks pretty red to me, but. But you know what? He's gonna do his little whole combo nonsense. I don't know what he's gonna do. I have uh, I have a counter trap ready with with last counter, so I highly doubt. Wait, no, hold up. No, no, I'm fine because I thought that he was gonna use the blue one to like kill my guys, but he can't even target them, so that's fine. <laughs> I love it when people try to target my boxes with an effect because they didn't read Dempsey and then they have <laughs> to end up destroying one of their own cards. It is hilarious. <laughs> He's really taking his time over there. I... Even the Dark Magician is like, come on, bro, make a move, bro. Seriously, bro. I mean, I've got these giant shoulder pads, bro. I'm look look looking like I'm in the 90s. 80s. What decade were shoulder pads a thing? 80s? I think so. I'm trying to remember that Balthazar Brat guy from Despicable Me. I think he was 80s. He had shoulder pads. <clears throat> Finally, he makes the blue one. It's like, give me your deck. I know how to play this deck. I can make it for you. But now he's going to special summon back that nonsense. And then, uh, Duro Amonstacado. Any day now. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they draw. If they draw something, they were like, Duro Amonstacado. And then Weevil was like, <laughs> That was a really cool part in the anime. Can't wait to get that part. Uh, uh, can't wait to get to there in my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sin series. Oh, he's going to link them away. Oh, he did not link them away. Whoa, what was this? Evil Twins, Key Sickle, and Lilla? Wow. Never seen this card before. That's pretty wild. I don't run this. I don't run this card in my... Um, my life. Oh god, what is this? If your opponent controls three or more cards, they must send cards so that they control two? Oh, that's evil. That is evil. Ah, that's why they're evil twins. Now I get the name. I'm gonna have to send my uh, uppercut or my promoter, I guess. I, I don't want to lose my counter, uh, counter trap there because I want to meme on him with it. 
hoping I can meme on with it. But that is a big monster. But, luckily, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, he's going to attack me. Come on, I've got something ready for you. Battle of Boxer Chief Seconds Effect activates. By special summoning him, I can get rid of that card until the end phase. What say you now, Yahoo? I've... I've trounced your mighty offensive. That card might have had 4,400 attack, but my boxers have the technique that can outwit any sort of attack. Not even Obelisk the Tormentor could take me down. Okay, it was, uh, Dur it was Durandal. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I can do some good stuff with this. I, I have I have good cards in my hand, and uh, this guy, he's up a certain creek without a paddle. He's up a certain creek that people would name a terrible sitcom after. It's time to commence the killing. I'm going to go ahead and use Nova Kaiser's effect to attach my upper cutter from the grave to him as a material. I then activate my Batland Boxing Spirits. Oh, I've no the switch hit. That's nice. I'm gonna use its effect to revive my King Dempsey from the grave. Dempsey, please search me a card, good sir. And while you're at it, please detach me a card from my material. Please de detach me a material from one of my cards, good sir. I'm going to detach Uppercutter. Because Uppercutter does a funny thing from the grave that I'm gonna use. But I'm gonna add Battle Box Motor to my hand with Dempsey. And then Uppercutter's effect activates. I get to special summon back a battling boxer for my grave. You know, I shouldn't have added promoter because I could have just special summoned this promoter, so that was kind of a missed opportunity. You know what? That's fine. I can still uh, I can still use his other effect to special summon it. You know, I'm thinking about making Star Cess this real talk, but I can't I can't go for that yet. I have to I have to do things first. And besides, I have promote. I have two promoters on the field. I need to use at least freaking one of them. So I'm just gonna use these two to create the one whose fire and his soul sets his fist aflame. Battling boxer lead yoke. Let's go, boy. Now, battle boxer promoter is gonna promote me a new fight between Chief Second and. Did you mean to click on that? And Glassjaw. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Who would win that fight? Well, apparently, uh. Judging by Glassjaw's effect that he just dies to anything, I guess Chief Second would win that. I, I, I guess the problem, I guess the only problem that Chief would have is that he would have to first land a punch on Glassjaw. And judging by how short he is, I feel like that's a, a dream that's gonna stay just a dream. But yeah, uh, Shadow's effect to special summon himself, and then now step into the ring, number 105, Batman Boxer Star Cestis. Oh man, I wish I had Chaos Force so I could just dunk on him with the nonsense. Star Cestus uses an overlay unit to activate its effect. Star Dust Impact! Your monster's effects are negated! <laughs> That's right, so much for those 4,400 attack points. Now the rest of my boxers have an open lane to just drive their fists right into your face. And I am going to end my turn on that Impenetrable defense. Impenetrable. Perfection. Perfection. There is no way that... I, I shouldn't say there's no way because if there's a will, there's a way. There is always a chance to come back in a rush duel. Even though this isn't a rush duel, but... The, the power of Yuga Odo is with me. <laughs> the heck is wrong? <laughs> That's freak weirdo. Why y'all watching this? <laughs> Why y'all... <laughs> Why would y'all come here to hear me rave on about nonsense, huh? Watch something more coherent like a Joe Biden speech. Okay, uh, what is this? EMP? What? Okay, I forgot to activate uh, De Dempsey, so I'm just gonna go ahead and activate him just to make my guys untargetable. But yeah, what the heck is this? If a live- Whoa, what the- Okay then. Yeah, why does this person have a level 4 that has a cutscene? My guys don't have any cutscene. Adoval Monica card. You are lucky that I cannot negate that. It, he added another one of those weirdos from the beginning that I negated with my cross counter trap. But oh, pendulum scale! I set the pendulum scales. I'm Yuya sucks cocky, and and I'm here to dual tame. 
I, I don't like the English. Uh, the English voice actor for Yuya is actually okay, but th then I found out that the Japanese was freaking Giorno Giovanna, and that is honestly pretty cool. So, yeah, the Japanese voice, always gonna link summon. What do you got for me? Whoa, IP Mascarena. I've heard tales of this card. It is apparently a very mighty card despite its low attack points, although I don't really know what he can do. He's probably got some sort of trick up his sleeve. Like, he ends his turn, but he's probably gonna have some nonsense waiting for me. He's gonna, oh wow, another last counter. Perfect, perfect. Okay, standby phase. You know what? You know what? Let's just head right into battle phase. Oh wait, before that, double insurance. Dempsey's effect to detach Glass Joe from Star Cestus. It's not about winning barely, it's about winning convincingly. That's what every boxer wants. We all want our landslide victories, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and add back Switch Hitter to my hand. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Now I shall try to swing with my lead yoke. Yeah, this is over. I activate my counter trap, last counter. Say bye to lead yoke and say hi to a bigger Star Cestus. That was a sick way to end this. I've actually never killed someone with last counter before. Not even in Duel Links, aside from like an NPC duelist. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see. I think I have one more duel in me. So, let's go ahead and get it. Let's get it! Let's go! Alright, new opponent found. We've got... Yeah, I can't read that. But hey, look at the icon. It's a uh, it's the card that I fought last time. The Evil Twins, Evil Sickle Lalilla. Lilo and Stitch, or whatever their names were. But yeah, oh, going second. Okay, all right, fine, fine, fine. Now I get to demonstrate just how fire the Batman Boxer turn two is. Oh yeah, this 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 this, this turn this turn two Batman Boxer is looking really good. I got Ash Blossom and Maxi. That is like the the perfect salad that you want. I just don't have the best Batman Boxer cards on hand right now. Add one Salamangrate uh, monster, yeah, that circle. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with a max C. I mean, I'm not hitting that, but I'm going to, um, I know that Salamangrate loves to special summon 50 times in one turn for, aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Why would you do this to me? Why did it have to be the called by the grave? Why does every tryhard have this, bro? I refuse to use that card because I'll... Yeah, well, I don't know, I shouldn't say anything, but yeah, um, okay, he's gonna add the weasel. Yeah, he is a little weasel over there, that little rabbit over there shaking himself at me. What, what, what do you think you're doing over there? Yeah, flicking your ears? Yeah, you ain't all that in the bag of chips. Oh, great, Salamand Great Gazelle, now he's gonna Foolish Burial a card, but I'll counter that with my Ash Blossom Trap card. <laughs> it's not a... They're like, it's not a trap card. It's called a hand trap, very different. <laughs> yeah, well, hand trap, trap card, it makes no difference to me. Oh, look, see, see, if he didn't pass, uh, not Ash Blossom, if he didn't called by the grave me, I would have drew a card, and he gets to just add his nonsense. That sucks. You know, why couldn't he be like me? Whenever I play Salamangrate, I always open that card, and my Bailinks has no target. Stupid, but you know what? Now he's gonna reincarnation, Link Summon, be reborn, Salamangrate, Bailinks. And now he's got the freaking weasel. Yeah, so, yo, two or more. Wow, that card is pretty good. Yeah, this is the new um, uh, cards that actually came out alongside Battle and Boxer. So, we're kindred spirits. This is the battle of the soul burning volcano. Which deck is better? Uh, I, I actually don't know. Probably Solomon Grade for being serious, but that won't stop me from trying my hardest. And he's going to go ahead and activate stuff in the grave. He gave me his bail links. Oh my god, that cheeky son of a... He's able to activate a Sunlight Wolf with that. He's able to get the Gazelle back to his hand. Oh, not cool, bro. Not cool, and now I got a little little cheeky Bale Lynx that I can't even do anything with on my field. Oh wow, another Maxi. Perfect. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna be honest here, this isn't looking good. I normal summon Chief Second! And he's got something. Uh, it always feels bad to have to double summon something that isn't like switch hitter or upper cutter because I'm gonna have to do that with a spar. But I guess if push comes to shove, I guess I could special summon him, which sucks even more because he gives up the battle phase, as we all know. 
No way. No way! <laughs> well, looks like he just made that decision for me. Because uh, now I have no choice but to special summon Spar. Uh, it's like this. It's like that red bastard new. Are you joking me? Wait, but it's negated. You called bite it, you idiot. Yeah, you're, you're an idiot. I mean, called by the grave has other text, you know. And that very important text is actually the one that screwed you over. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Since he's not going to get draw power, I get to just special summon as many times as I want. Start with Dempsey. Dempsey's effect to add me a Monstacado. Uh... The Monstacado I'm going to add is going to be Battle Boxer Promoter. Special summon him in there because the middle lane looks like it's covered in blue piss. So I'm going to go ahead and spe uh, special summon two Battle Boxers. I really do like to imagine that Promoter is bringing out two combatants for a bout that he's promoting. And the bout that he's going to be promoting this time is going to be Uppercutter, of course. He gets he, He's the most paid fighter. Let's just face it, right? Let, let's just be real. Uppercutter is the most paid fighter because he gets promoted all the time. Every single time. And then for my for the second combatant, it is going to be Batlin Boxer Glassjaw. I'm, I'm going to be honest, in this fight, I'm pretty sure that Glassjaw would go home crying because that Uppercutter looks mean. Yeah, Glassjaw would have to keep him out the whole time, but Uppercutter, he would he would get up in there. He looks like a like a pretty nasty end fighter, so I, I wouldn't want to be caught up in uh, Uppercutter's range, that's for sure, because he's probably going to follow through with that freaking sword that he has attached to his elbow for some reason. Uh, anyway, <laughs> go ahead and use my Uppercutter and my glass jaw to build the overlay network for number 79, Nova Kaiser. Dempsey's effect, I'm just going to go ahead and... Detach my Glass Joe because he's going to be able to activate his effect to add the promoter back to my hand. Man, it feels so good to loop Glass Joe with Nova Kaiser because now that he's in the grave, I can just reattach him back. Literally, no harm, no foul. Nova Kaiser and Glass Joe, they're, they're probably sparring partners, honestly. Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and set my quick chaos in the piss lane because just just to mock him because I can't even activate it. And then I'm gonna set another card face down and end my turn because I can't attack because spar. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say because spar. But I have my toggle on because I want payback maxi during the draw phase. <laughs> It always happens, and not only that, but I'm gonna chain block him. I'm gonna make sure that it resolves with the Dempsey effect. Detach uh, Uppercutter this time to make my Flame Bell counter live. Alright, Salaman, Greg, Jack, Jaguar! And then his effect is gonna add a yada yada yada. Oh, Bail Links back to the deck. Perfect. Doesn't that make it so we can't make Bail Links this turn? Is that, that's probably like a goof. You know, that's probably a goof. <clears throat> but, I mean, he probably knows something I don't know on. Okay, let's see. Okay, never mind. I misunderstood Jack Jaguar. I guess he still can make that Bale Lynx, and he has the Gazelle in his hand, so he's just gonna just take his whole hand and just on the freaking field. He's gonna vomit out a ton of monsters, but you know what? That's fine by me, because I draw every single time he summons due to my max C. I really wonder how many cards I'm gonna end up with by the end of this turn. I'm gonna be honest with you, because this is Salamangrate, and they just... And, and he, he seems committed to this. He sent the Spinny. So, uh... <laughs> he sent the Sonic the Hedgehog Boy. Spinny's the name, speeds his game. And i just just gonna wait here. <laughs> the, the little Danger Jackalope is so cute. I'm gonna be honest here. Alright, another Link Summon. What's he making? Whoa, what is this thing? Promethean Princess? Wow, that looked crazy. Promethean Princess. Special summon a fire monster? Oh, that sucks. And he's got so much trash in his graveyard, he can just bring out whatever he wants. Oh, he brought out the Jack Jaguar again. Okay, you do you. I'll just keep drawing cards over here. <laughs> wow, special summon. He just keeps on... He just continuously special summoning stuff over here. This is, this is great. I have six cards in hand. It'd be great if I drew a Chief Second, because then I'd be practically invincible. The Mira Staga boy. Mira, Mira, Mira Guest, whatever his name is. Attach one special summon to Salamangre from the deck. 
I got another special summon. <laughs> Give me more. Feed me. I'm like Ezekiel Elliott of the uh, New England Patriots, formerly the Dallas Cowboys, with that whole, like, feed me more gimmick that he does. Yeah, look, I'm getting fed all these cards. I drew a Durandal. Sweet. Oh, oh, and that's a new card. This is Salamangre to Fire. Oh, what's it gonna do? Add a level four or lower. Oh, he said he said he got another weasel. That is so horrible. What? Well, why is that such an easy summoning condition? It, the condition is that if you have two monsters in your grave, you can special summon that thing. That is such bull. That that'd be like if one of my battle and boxer cards said, if your opponent has ass cheeks, sp special summon your entire deck from your arsehole. Okay, oh, this is gonna be a big one. Ooh, Salaman Great Raging Phoenix. A very scary. Oh, and he's doing more stuff. Oh, okay, that's gonna put a monster on my side of the field and then draw him a card. You know what? Fine by me, because I'm drawing approximately five cards every second due to how much he's summoning, so why not? Sure, give me the whatever he's got. Okay, he gave me the spinny, and he drew a cardo, and I drew a cardo. I drew last counter. I have approximately. 11 cards in my hand, I think I kind of read. Oh, he's got Sign and Mining. Oh, he sent the fire. You know what? I am... I'm actually not going to Flame Bell counter that because I want him to spend all of his materials. I want him to be fully gassed out. This is fire versus fire. It's literally about who runs out of steam first. And the other one will just be helpless because they're all burnt out. And uh, he added Code of Soul. I wonder what that does. Of course, it just special summons itself from the hand. I mean, what else would it do? It's a, it's, it's a code talker card. Okay, I'm going to flip over my face down card. Rank up magic, quick chaos. I'm going to be using this card to rank up my Nova Kaiser to General Kaiser. I'm doing this because General Kaiser's main effect is actually to negate a special summon, and I know he's gonna reincarnation link summon any time, and he's gonna help me shut that down in an instant. But oh, yep, here he comes, reincarnation link summon another, another cutscene. Man, my cards have no cutscenes, not even Dempsey. Like at least General Kaiser. But anyway, General Kaiser's effect, shut him down, negate this special summon, and destroy that card. And, oh wow, that even activates Glass Shaw. I actually didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to add Nova Kaiser back to my hand because I just want the... Uh, I need that Glass... Uh, not the Glass Jaw. I need the up to stay in the grave. Oh, here comes another Link Summon. Oh, Pyro Phoenix. Okay. That only does the funny stuff. Code of Soul. Wait, what? You can still do it? No way. No way. That's what Code of Soul does? Oh, you gotta be joking me. He gets the... Now the board nuke! He nukes my board! Oh, you. <sighs> you filthy communist. <laughs> Look how many cards I have in my hand. Oh no, what's he doing? He's still got stuff. He's, he's, still, he's still able to keep going. I should have negated the sign at mining. No! <laughs> I'm, I'm such a... I'm such an idiot too. He didn't even have another spell card in his hand. What is wrong with me? Oh, he's such an idiot. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. That is totally fine because this is not enough to kill me. Oh, hey, I drew a chief second. Nice. <laughs> that would have been terrific if I actually had a monster on the field, but unfortunately, I don't. So, I just need to basically let him pummel me for a little bit. And I took a screenshot because I'm absolutely going to share how many cards I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards in my hand. So yeah, that screenshot I took is gonna make a really good image for the post I'm gonna make when this video releases whilst this guy pummels me, of course. Ah! Is that the best you got? <laughs> I, I may be down, but I'm not out. Ugh. Another 2,000 damage and another 1,800 incoming with the Jack Jaguar attack. But you know what? Oh, what is this? What is this? Wait, what? Why, why, why did he do that? Why, why did he destroy his own monster? What? Hello? Oh no! What the? It's... Why are you so massive? Oh my god! I am so happy I drew the infinite impermanence. That came in so clutch because that is not enough to beat me. <laughs> I have 400 life points left. Uh, 
You should have gone for the head. Because now, with my... What I imagine 20 cards at this point, I can surely come back and... And, and annihilate him. I mean, there's no way I don't, right? Okay, I know the Durandal. That's okay. I have two more in my hand. And I'm going to use it to special summon back my Dempsey. Because he has an effect that I need to make use of right now. I, the question is, is that I just don't know what I'm going to search. Because I basically have my entire deck in my hand. Oh, that... What the... He's going to destroy both of us? Alright, fine by me. Until then... We better get used to coexisting. Master Miller, Miller, you're solid five. Oh no way! That is so corny. That is so cheesy. He ate, he used the veil links to save him. Oh, poor sport indeed. But you know what? But you know what? One thing about being a good battle box is that you gotta learn to roll with those punches. Roll like right now. He threw a right straight. I'm gonna add shadow. Right now he threw a right cross. Roll with it. Liver shot. That's how you get him out. But right now, I have no monsters on the field, so I can infinite imperm. I'm just reading his card effects because he's been doing very, very spooky stuff. And I... If a link monster is special summoned to your target, one of those monsters inflict damage equal to that attack. You know what? That might screw me over. Because since then, he has been special summoning monsters to my field this entire game... I'm gonna go ahead and infinite impermanence him to negate that effect just because I am literally that low and I literally can't afford to uh, take any literally any more damage. Wow, how you like that? I had two I had exactly two battling boxers left in my deck to summon. That that is amazing. Okay, so here comes Chief Second and Spar. Uh, honestly, I feel like this is one that um, Chief Second might be able to win because Spar doesn't look that strong, I'm gonna be honest here. Normal summon switch hitter. Uh, I have two normal summons. So here comes back Glass Jaw. Now, I've never, I've actually never had this many cards in my hand, so I, I'm not sure what to do here. I guess I should just do everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess I should just do everything, right? So, since my first Dempsey has been unalived by his uh, uh, princess over there, I'm gonna make Dempsey number two. Come to me. Alright, now. Switch hitter number two. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and activate his effect to do another summon for my graveyard. I'm gonna go ahead and bring back my Batman Boxer Uppercutter. We're gonna do some uppercutting today, buddy. Use your effect to search me a cross counter. Because you know what? Just in case if I can't kill him yet, just in case if once I'm done regurgitating all the monsters I'm going to put on the field, I'd like some double insurance, so I'm gonna just set up some uh, defense. Meanwhile, use my switcher and my uppercutter to make Batman Boxer lead yoke. I have a little more than 90 seconds, and I think the best course of action would be to. Oh my God, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's so hard. I'm, I'm racing. The timer's going down. I'm just gonna try and see. I'm just gonna try and summon. Wait, what's going on? Wait, what is this? Wait, I, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm stuck. I help. <laughs> I'm stuck. No, the timer's still going. What's going on? No. No, I swear. I swear. If I lose this way, I... Oh my god, I'm going to find the CEO of Spectrum. And I'm... Look at that. No, no. Why do I have the death waves now? Yeah, I, if, if I lose like this, I'm going to find the CEO of Spectrum and kick him in the nuts so hard. No, I... Ah! As soon as I decided what I wanted to do... As soon as I decided what I wanted to do, the game freaks out on me. Oh, thank goodness. I have 38 seconds. I need a freaking hustle. I'm going to play it fast as I've ever played. My mind... I'm putting my synapses to work, and I am trying... Oh, God. Okay, shadow. Shadow effect. Shadow's a very hard space in my hand. And, um... Okay, detach that. I really didn't see what I detached. Uh, okay. Boost, boost, boost. Okay, get out of that. <clears throat> 30 seconds remaining. Holy cow. Okay, uh, Nova Kaiser. Nova Kaiser. Boost to... Boost. Alright, uh, yeah, I didn't even freaking see. I'm just clicking. I have no time left. Dempsey's effect. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Lead yoke. Alright, detach. Detach that guy. Boost again. 3800 beat stick. I'm stronger than blue eyes. Head right into battle. Right into battle. Okay, uh, what do I do? Okay, uh, Lead yoke. Attack. 
that, that thing. Attack that thing. I don't care. I have 20 seconds left. I have 20 seconds left. Why are his monsters so much bigger than mine? Oh god, what is he doing? What is this? Destroy that monster you control? Okay. Oh, and I can't even play the attack. Bastard. Okay, um... Okay, uh, uh, Nova Kaiser, attack that thing. Post haste, please. Go. Freaking go. Okay, 600 damage. I'm on the board. I'm on the board. Now I get to activate Quick Chaos to bring out my second General Kaiser. Let me tell you, a lot of lists have only one. I'm glad I have two. <clears throat> okay, now here he comes. I didn't mean to attack that guy. I want to attack the princess because that thing does bull spit in the grave. Okay, yeah, send that. I don't care. I'm not even freaking looking. Uh, please, no. Please, I mean, well, at least this gives me a chance to look at my hand. Okay, alright, alright. 900 damage, and then directo attack, directo attack. Go, go, Dempsey, Shadow. I have freaking six seconds left. Main phase two, main phase two. Okay, set cards, set cards, set cards, set cards, cross counter, cross counter, uh, set the other last counter, come on, come on, come on, end phase! I had three seconds. I had three seconds. Oh my god, oh! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> I can't believe it! I don't know what that was. Konami, like, turned on their microwaves in the server during my turn, and I just, I, oh my god. Fine, I feel a little lightheaded. Like, I was breathing, I, I, my, my knees feel weak, my arms are heavy, my palms are sweaty, and mom's spaghetti. So, yeah, that was, that was a nice battle. I can't believe that I was able to, I'm just, that was a clutch infinite impermanence. If I, if I didn't draw that, if I didn't draw that, I wonder... Was that like the last card I drew before he swung at me? I, I don't know, but I, I'm just glad I drew it because that was an amazing end to this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I am going to be going back to work, so I'm sorry. I will try my best to balance my work schedule with my video schedule. Uh, I, I actually don't have a schedule, but I, I'm going to try, all right? I mean, I love making these videos for y'all. They're fun to make. I get crazy stuff like this going on, so I'm definitely not going to stop. I'm not going to quit. I will uh, see you hopefully soon with a, my next video, and until next time, take care. Bye bye. So what the hell? Why do they need the navy with battleships and helicopters to transport some carts to an academy? Also, apparently they had to fight off intruders. How many people died trying to get the cards to build their XYZ deck? Not only that, but who would these intruders even be? Is there some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh! Somali pirates in this universe? So full steam ahead, man. Three things with this Admiral guy. His hat looks like a Mario hat, and he has a Freddie Mercury mustache, and he has cheekbones you can slice cheese on. Cyrus performing a pagan ritual to Slifer the Sky Dragon is certainly something I did not expect to see today. The jackets that everyone wears in this academy is far cry from a blazer. The only thing that can come close is the coats that the obelisk blue people wear. Not that there's anything wrong with red, of course. It's great on you, Slifer. Even Cyrus's prayer to Slifer is riddled with awkwardness. I'm surprised that he hasn't been smoked with a thunder force attack.